when it comes to search for audio and video, audio and video content, um, the key is that you actually have to have access into the words that are spoken inside of the uh, inside of the video or audio content. In the absence of that, all you're searching are titles and maybe a summary information that the author of the content created, such as show notes, um, or user-generated tags. Alex, tell us a little bit about Podzinger and what you guys do up there and how the technology works. We operate a farm of servers that run speech-to-text technology that come from Podzinger's parent company, um, BBN. That farm of servers is basically ingests video and audio. It runs it through by, in essence, watching it once, and cre takes every word spoken in an audio or video segment and tags it with the, ident the identification of that word. We call it a rough, a rough transcript, or what I really call it is a text index. So think of it as, you know, much as, much as uh, sites, you know, Web 2.0 sites are very much about tagging media in order to be able to create additional value and access to that media. Um, this is about trying to tag every word with the identity of that word and the location of that word as it occurs in the video. And so, of course, much like humans, more than humans, computers are, you know, they're just not perfect. So they're not going to get a perfect transcript. So, however, they create so much more metadata about video and audio so that a user can actually find content that's relevant to them that would otherwise be black space to Google or Yahoo. I understood that you folks really index podcasts or files that are sent to you by RSS. Now you're doing user-generated content and you're indexing and uh, organizing YouTube files. Could you explain that a little bit? We literally take every file that's produced on YouTube, and we've done this since the beginning of December, so now we're somewhere around one and a half million videos in just just over three months. Okay, so it's massive amounts of, of video that's being created. And we run that through our farm of, ser farm of servers, and we take all the metadata that's associated with the content on the YouTube page, and then add a whole lot more, starting with things like, is it music or is it not music? Then we, then we say, okay, and how much of it has, is rich in word, you know, kind of word density? For that content, we run it through our speech-to-text engine and create a rich um, text index of that, of that piece of media. So what that does then is it creates a, a much richer set of metadata and tags associated with each video. On top of that, we add topic classification. So what we do is we, we think that we help make that, you know, turn what is kind of a hard to access, hard to consume, hard to advertise collection, massive collection of media. And we turn that into an easy to consume, easy to search, easy to advertise collection of media.